don't forget, said, welcome back. As you can see, I bumped into somebody who's uh, notorious on the island, Scotsman in Tenerife. I've got Kevin here. We're going to go for a bit of a wander and a bit of a chat and take a bit of a look down there. He's just finishing off one of his vlogs at the moment, so go and check him out. If you've never seen him before, Scotsman in Tenerife is Kevin. What I like, I, hello mate, how you doing? How you doing? Nice All to right. see you again, mate. All right. Nice to see you. Are you enjoying your day? Oh, great. Yeah, it's a bit great, weird, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll come on this side because it wasn't Mike. Oh, the mic's that side, so I'm on the right side of you. You've, you've come over to the golf. Yeah, we'll take a wonder, we'll go for a bit of one. Yep. You've gone over to the golf. And what you, what you, what's your first impression of the golf? Is it your first time here? First time ever here, Rick. Um, just nice and relaxed, what I've seen so far. Completely different, I would say, than Lost Chris, Las Americas, Costa Decky. More of a relaxed vibe. Um, and yeah, it's nice to it's nice to see somewhere different. I quite enjoy that. When I go up to the north as well, Porto de la Cruz and other places, uh, it's good just to see somewhere different. So I'm enjoying it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I met you the first time I met you was actually outside the old night owl. That's it was right. me and Shelley were you, and you had 300 subscribers. Yeah. 300 subscribers. How many have you got now? Uh, 39,000. <laughs> just now. That's yeah. me. That's awesome. Yeah. 39,000. That's brilliant. Are you looking forward to the 40k? Hopefully I'll get there. It's just, it's, as I said to you, Rick, it's just a numbers game. The more videos you do, if you think they're starting the YouTube channel, the more videos you do, you'll kind of learn the stuff that works, that the viewers like, and then just continue continue to do more of those. So we'll get there. I don't think I'll get there on this trip. We've got another five days to go. Uh -huh. So I don't think I'll do it. I'd like to do it in Tenerife as well. It's a shame. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to do it in Tenerife. If you've I not subscribed to Scotsman in Tenerife, go and check, it, check his channel out. I'm sure most of you have done, but if you've not already seen it, the one thing I like, that's why I lose my breath because I'm going uphill. The one thing I like about it, and I, I mentioned it up one time on a live, when you came on one of our lives, it's a try before you buy. What I mean is, if you're ever going thinking about going somewhere in Tenerife, you want to try somewhere different, this man's definitely vlogged it. So go and have a look at it and go and see what you think about it before you actually go and book it. Yeah, I like that that phrase. I'll have to use that on my titles, <laughs> like, try before try you before buy. Try before you buy. And, and I'll say uh, uh, copyright, just right. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just try and show places that, that people might be interested in going to holiday. A lot of people ask me, where's this hotel, where's that? Now, you can go on Google Maps and kind of get a rough idea where it is, but it's, it's better to follow in somebody's footsteps and actually walk and show you, this is a hotel. Around the corner, you've got these great bars and restaurants. Yeah. Sometimes I'll stay in a hotel, I'll give you my honest opinion, I'm not sponsored by any hotels, unfortunately. That's a really good point, that as well. Yeah, so I just give my honest opinion. Unfortunately, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting on it. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just good to see different places. Um, the channel started in Tenerife, and I'm now going different places. You've been over to Lanzarote, I remember being in Lanzarote, because I remember the, uh, I remember the knee in the water, in the, in the, <laughs> the right. paint incident, and there was a pool being painted, and you knelt down to take the water and got white paint all over your knee. Oh, that was a disaster. <laughs> that was an absolute disaster, that was. That was I could funny. not get that paint off for about a day. <laughs> um, quite a few viewers have actually left comments, and they've stayed in that accommodation. I used to work there. Yeah, I know. You used, used, used to work That's a nice accommodation. Ah, it's lovely, yeah, it's lovely. Um, yeah, so it's, it's just good going different places as well. My favourite place to do videos, without a doubt, is Tenerife, because I meet so many people. I now know quite a lot of people in Tenerife, like yourself, obviously, and Shelley, yeah. uh, Tim, Daniel. Yeah. So I, I know a lot of people in Tenerife as well. It helps, so, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. It just helps you've got a little bit of a base and stuff like that, and it's nice to see. What made you start up the YouTube? Well, a couple of years ago, I, I was doing some stuff before that online to do with travel, and everything that happened in the world, things went pear-shaped with that. So I then, I then basically thought, well, I'm going to these places quite a lot anyway. Yeah. Um, from a, I've worked in travel, years and years ago so i can roughly get an idea of what people are looking for information yeah so i've seen obviously people doing the walks like mcmaster master and some other ones yeah uh, i can't really do food reviews as we've discussed that's yeah not, yeah that's, it's not really uh, it's, it's not, not my thing either. yeah it's not my strong point yeah um but i just thought i can walk so effectively i'm, I'm just a wee scottish guy walking about <laughs> hence the scots one in tenerife yeah. walk, walk around video that, that's it so they're, they're very calming though Kev, they really are it's just nice to watch and calming put them on just have a you know even if it's in the background just as you're doing your work and just watching around and stuff like that yeah do you know it's funny you mentioned that um, Rick. i had a really really nice comment from a viewer the other day who is their 14 year old son uh -huh. and he's got a uh, he's got some medical condition and he was saying he actually watches the videos and he finds them calming. Oh, that's I, brilliant. I don't know whether that's maybe I'm walking in the promenade near the beach and the sea and stuff. I think like it's that. the voice as well, mate. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's it was a lovely comment, as I said. So if that viewer's watching, thanks very much. That's really, nice, mate. really made my day, that comment. That's nice. Just to let you know where we are today, actually. We're actually on Golf Del Sur still. And we've just got the wild geese. He's over there. So we're down the bottom end, really, just between Golf Del Sur and Amaria. 
and I've been taking Kevin around. I've, I've been your tour guide today, really, just showing you the area because I knew you wanted to walk, and it's a big area to walk golf yeah. course here. You see, that's where the bottom of the hill was, remember? Yeah. On your vlog, we said you come to the top of the hill, that's where you get to. I always, I look at you, right, and this is one of the things, is I look at people and I look at success, and I put your success down to, the main, a lot of things I put it down to is actually how hard you actually graft at it. I couldn't believe it. I met Kevin, was it two nights ago you walked into the bar and you just arrived? Yeah. So two nights ago, he walks into the bar because he's just arrived to the bar, Dylan's bar and he'd already done six vlogs. Yeah. So he'd already done six films before he even came to say hello to me. And that six films in that, it's, it's just because you, you, you're actually here to work. Yeah, that, that, that's the thing. When I come here now, maybe... maybe Hola, buenas. Maybe different next month because I'm coming with uh, friends and family, so maybe more of a mix of a holiday. Uh -huh. But when I come here, basically, the target is to do as many videos as I possibly can, upload two or three a day when I'm here. Yeah. And then when I go back, I'll schedule videos to come out in the kind of following month. It's quite a discipline. It's. Uh, I know that you won't believe it, but sometimes it is hard work um, because you just need to focus and, and just doing the videos you have to think about ideas information for viewers well i've just seen that can i can i show, show that piece of paper uh, yeah have you got that piece of paper look at this one of the things that uh, sorry guys you're right one of the things that uh i just saw kevin do a couple of minutes ago is somebody asked for a pen and a piece of paper which he actually had and i went what you got a pen and a piece of paper for and it's actually when you see it, it's just phenomenal that's it i just have a look at this look at that and that is 87? 84, I think. 84 different ideas for vlogs. Yeah, that's inside information. Don't be sharing yeah, that. Don't, don't free don't frame that. Don't, <laughs> don't, I'll be free framing that later. I know it's copyrighted already. It's copyrighted already. It really is. So, as I said, the first thing for me is your discipline of your, your work ethic that you've got. Because I, I think it's phenomenal. I really do. And it's like credit to you. But also, Thanks. the other success of YouTube for myself is your titles. Yeah. So you come up with something like, how do you get your titles? You know what I mean? I was. The titles is basically, I, I analyse what what works, I, I look at different channels, not really tra travel channels, but also it's, it's really to do with copywriting, marketing, storytelling. There's certain titles that work better than others. So I'll give an example, if I go to a, a wee tiny town in Tenerife, yeah. nobody really searching for that in Tenerife. Yeah. So I'm, I'm better coming up with a title that's relevant to the video. So maybe I'll go in this wee, let's say I go to a wee town up in the north uh -huh. that nobody's really heard of, and, I, and I'll think the prices here are really good. So I'll maybe do Tenerife, you won't believe the prices here. It's clever, isn't it? It's clever. And, and, then, and then in the description, I will say where I am, but nobody, yeah. nobody reads the descriptions, right? But I yeah. will say where I am, and I'll start the video, and I'll say, listen, today I'm in... You know, this lost, place. Lost Chris or whatever, you know. Yeah. So it's just, it's just finding different ways. I've learned in the last two years, basically, um, the areas that get more views and but, but for variety in the channel and to kind of make it better for the viewers experience i like to go to different places as well so when you come to think about it really the whole youtube story it's not about look it's actually about research and it's about actually putting the work into it uh, yeah i would i would definitely say um it's more uh putting the work in and just getting videos out i think when people start they're very worried about how you sound how your appearance looks yeah I mean, you remember my videos at the start, but I didn't, I didn't speak. You won't put yourself on camera? Yeah. That was it. With me and Shelley were the ones that said, you need to put yourself on camera. Yeah, and, and it was, the difference was amazing. As soon as I went on the camera, even though the videos weren't great, the people can engage with you. Yeah. They Personable can, then, isn't it? Yeah. Same, same as your channel. Yeah. You, you know, your channel's doing really well. And I think people obviously identify with you. Um, so, yeah, if any of these things are starting a YouTube video um, or a channel, the, the number one advice I've got is just get going and get videos up. Uh, that's, fully enough, the first words on my Just Rick channel was just do it, just yeah. do it, because that's what a YouTuber said to me. We're, we're gonna try and get ourselves up the hill a little bit around the corner, so we'll cross over here, Kev, okay. so we don't die. Um, was just, literally just do it, and then one of the other things I heard about it, if you think about starting a YouTube channel, is don't upload your first video, film 10, and then upload 10. Yeah, yeah. And the reason being for that is because when somebody's watched one video, they wanna see another one, if they like it. But if you've only got one video, that. And then you've not got another one to follow it up. Yeah. Is that about, you, you agree with that? That is excellent advice. Yeah. I, I didn't really know that at the start. Um, what you basically need to do is you need to have a back catalogue of videos. Yeah. So you'll see on my channel just now, I don't even know how many videos there is. There might be 1,500 or something. But I, I've got an idea for another channel that's not travel related. And I'm going to upload 100 videos. But, and I'm going to just leave, leave the channel and see how it does. Really? Yeah. That'd be brilliant. But just like me, you've got more than one channel. Yeah, I've got a few channels. Um, I'm working on different things. One called Travel with Kevin, I changed the name in that one. Yeah. 
I've got one in Scotland, nobody watches that one. Just walk, <laughs> it's, just walk, it's just walking about Scotland. Um, but I've left If you want your Kevin fix, by the way, I'll leave the links to all these below. Um, so you've got not just the uh, Scotsman Tanner, if you want your fix of Kevin and the fix of the voice, because the voice is a very, I think it's a great voice. It's a great accent, very calming voice, and it works, that combined with the views, I think it works. I think it really works for you. Yeah, thanks. It's just, um, it's just really learning from experience the last couple of years, you know, what works, etc. But, um, it's great to be back in Tenerife. It's quite hard thinking of new ideas for videos now. Um, so whenever I see something, I try and write it down. You see me yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. Because I forget, I've got a terrible memory. <laughs> yeah. And I sometimes forget. Um, so if any of you's got any ideas for videos for Rick or my channel, yeah, yeah, do leave, it. leave them in the comments. Leave them in the comments below. It's great to get uh, feedback from viewers. Absolutely. We've maybe said, you've maybe missed this bit in Tenerife, or can you give me information on this? So it's always handy. Yeah. Uh, for me, I tell you what, I'm going to get to the top of this hill. It's always the hills. The hills get me out. Here, eh? Who knew Tenerife was on a hill, Kev? <laughs> <laughs> Who knew Tenerife said, was on I'm, a hill? I'm used to that hill in Moscow, Yeah, that's the cardiac hill. Oh, so, cardiac hill? Yeah. Is that the one going past mine? Dillon's? Yeah, yeah. Going past Dillon's? I'm at the Castle Harbour next month. Oh my god. Yeah. Is that, they get Sherpas up there. Absolutely. It's snowing up there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. See, in the background there, we've just got the marina, so you can see we're in the Amaria area. Amaria area at the moment. Um, to be honest with you, Kev's been a massive supporter of us and our channel, as I think we have with you guys as well. And the collaboration just seems to work all the time with it. I just I just wish you all the success with it, mate. Thanks, Rick. All the best with and, it. And thanks for inviting me on your channel. Check him out. Go check him. If you've not seen him, go check him out. Most of you know him. But go and check him out. You know what to do. See you on the next one. Nice one. That's it. <laughs> all right.